In this video, we're going to talk about the idea that you should count your blessings. And what do I mean by that? You see, we live in an age that is the most prosperous ever, right? Even bums have smartphones with 5G, whatever. People pretty much can buy anything. You know, they have everything at their, their disposal, right? The most pro prosperous era imaginable, right? You have, for example, you have hot water at your disposal anytime you wish. Even royalty, 100, 150 years ago, didn't have this. They had to wait for somebody to heat that bitch under a fire, right? You only have to turn a faucet or press a button, and two seconds later, you have hot water. So, already, you are more privileged than royalty a hundred years ago. Okay. And we live in an age where most people, even though they have all of these privileges, they are so miserable, depressed, suicidal, unhappy, miserable unfulfilled, whatever word you want to use, and uh, I was one of these people, I was one of these people, uh, even though I had so many things, I was still unhappy, you know, sour, bitter, um, and the question is why, right, you see, I follow a lot of trends on social media and I'm a researcher I like to observe things and make conclusions and people are getting more and more depressed they suffer from more and more anxiety right even with this scam pandemic a lot of people they had to stay at home in their pajamas, and they went crazy. They couldn't handle staying in their pajamas at home, right? Which is paradise to me. But anyway, right? So what's really going on here? Why are people so unfulfilled, so sad, even enraged that life isn't going their way, that they're not getting what they deserve, that they're not being uh, loved, they're not being their best selves, they're not improving, they're not successful, they ain't getting no bitches, whatever. Money, whatever, right? And I would wager that even if they obtained all of these things that I've listed, they would still be fucking miserable. Because I have seen this time and time again. I have seen people with everything in the world, with so much money they could buy anything, and they didn't really enjoy it. They were miserable, and they died alone, and they were forgotten immediately, okay? So, you know, this is me speaking from experience. I was suicidal for half of my life since my early teens, because nobody really explained anything to me, right? In real life, you know, after a certain age, I think that you should realize that true happiness is found in the little things. The little things that you enjoy and you take for, for granted, those are sacred. Those will provide everything you need, you know, to uh, heal your soul, right? No matter how much money you make, no matter how m with how many people you sleep, whatever. No, it doesn't matter where you travel. It doesn't matter how many Funko Pops you collect, etc. Okay, it doesn't matter. You will not be happy because materialistic things in general will not provide happiness. Especially the big ones, the most expensive, yada yada. They will not provide you what you need. Okay. <clears throat> so, 
after a lifetime of just bitterness and sadness and oh boy oh boy I'm a special snowflake and I'm not getting what I deserve oh woe is me you know that's that fucking bullshit uh, I have realized this that we should all count our blessings what do I mean by this okay first of all you gotta stop taking things so seriously I mean you know uh, people there's just they, they are just so sensitive reactionary and on, on the other side they're too explosive too inflamed too they're too much right they're too much people are just too much and I don't understand you know no matter what they attain they cannot be satiated, satisfied, right? People can't handle rejection. They cannot handle, you know, a bad word. They cannot handle, I don't know, bad weather. They can't, what, what, what has happened to people? You need to count your blessings. What do I mean by this, right? I mean, do you realize that certain people in this world are born, I don't know, blind, deaf, you know, with a certain disability, you know, a mental disability, you know, some people are born without limbs, bro, they are born without organs, right, some people are born without fucking arms, without legs, without eyes, without a face, and, they, and yet they still live on, right, do you understand how people, how so many people suffer in hospitals, <clears throat> because they cannot take a piss or because their <clears throat> metabolism doesn't work properly and here you are in the best of health physically you know no problem no pain and yet here, here you are miserable all, all the time right I was like I said suicidal and I was also a chronic insomniac and I thought nobody has been in this situation before and I thought I'm a fucking uh, I'm the second coming of Jesus look at me I'm on my cross right nobody has experienced this suffering like I have right and I think a lot of people have this same mindset it isn't so calm down you're doing fine count your blessings count your blessings right you have a great digest digestion, you should count your blessings, right? You have absolutely no problem with your eyes, you can see 2020 vision, count your blessings, right? Count your blessings. Your kidneys work like the day you were born, you should count your blessings. You have a nice house, an apartment, you have a wonderful bed, you know, you have indoor plumbing, indoor heating right you can enjoy a cold beer maybe a cigar count your blessings right so you're not making I don't know six figures on your salary right so what count your blessings right you have enough money to live a decent life you know count your blessings so you don't have any friends right right so what right count your blessings you're alive you have no trouble breathing you have no allergies. You're never constipated. Okay? Count your blessings. You have never went to the doctor. You have never <coughs> had any interactions with the police or the, uh, you know, the just justice system. Count your blessings. Right? Count your blessings, folks. Right? You work eight hours a day. And then you have the weekend off where you can do pretty much anything. You can sleep those two days like I do. You count your blessings. Praise God, whatever. All right. Praise life, whatever. Be thankful to be alive. Oh, you get migraines after drinking too much or whatever. Is that the worst that you have ever experienced? All right. Count your blessings. You know why? Because it could have been much 
worse. I mean, you, you don't understand the kind of nightmare life that you could have had just because something <clears throat> might have went haywire in your genetics, okay? And here we have a generation of people who complain and bitch and moan 24-7 <clears throat> because, I don't know, they're ugly, they're fat, they're not attractive enough, right? Their crushes don't notice them. Whatever. See, these are not problems, folks. These are not problems. These are not real problems. Calm down. Stop ta taking it so seriously. And count your blessings. Okay? I have seen true suffering. I have seen what happens to a person at the end of his or her life. The kind of anguish and agony. The kind of pain and the kind of madness that would drive those people to ask you to help them commit suicide. Okay? This, I have experienced this with loved ones. Okay? Count your blessings, folks. This, what you're having right now, this experience, where nothing is wrong with you physically, mentally, not really. This will not last. This is just a temporary moment in time. It will fade away. Things will get worse eventually. But until that day, I don't know, 50 years from now, whatever, whenever is going to happen, <clears throat> count your blessings until that day as a sort of prayer, okay? <clears throat> I mean, today people, they just go crazy, they go berserk over the littlest, smallest things. And they react in a certain way as if it is the end of the world, as if they have been insulted by the gods themselves. Over nothing, over nothing, right? Count your blessings. You have two arms, you have two legs, okay? Okay, your body accomplishes all of its processes normally. I mean, that alone, that alone should make you, I mean, scream of happiness, of celebration. You should count your blessings because you do not know what true suffering is, what true anguish is, what true agony is. You could be in a world of pain that you do not know nothing about, true, true torture. Or somebody that you love deeply might be in horrific agony and you might be unable to do anything about it, right? If you have not experienced something of this degree, you should count your blessings. If you have a good sleep every night, you should count your blessings, okay? Whenever you can breathe Fresh air, count your blessings. Whenever you see a blue sky that's beautiful, whenever you can see fucking nature, count your blessings. Whenever you can have, you know, a bottle of beer or some wine or maybe even a, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> a sexy, naughty night with a special somebody. Count your blessings, folks, because it will not last. And so many people around the world, they have all of this and more. They're sitting on gold. And they do not know it's worth because, I don't know, it's insignificant. It is irrelevant. I can take a shit every day and not feel and not bleed from the asshole. And they think that this, is, that this isn't a blessing from the heavens. Count your blessings, folks. Okay. Because sooner or later, you will be in a world, in a world of, 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 of such suffering and pain <clears throat> that you cannot even imagine. Okay, I hope it doesn't happen to you. Odds are that it will, it will happen. It will happen to all of us when we get older, right? 
Count your blessings. Stop seeing everything in a negative way, you see? Because I understand what you're going through. I've been there half of my life, suicidal, depressed. And now I laugh at it, okay? I just laugh at it because I don't take it seriously because I know whatever happens in my daily experience, afterwards, I go home and I have the best time imaginable. Nothing can ruin my time, my private time. Nobody can tarnish it. No matter all of the assholes and dipshits that I meet on a daily basis, unfortunately, they cannot affect me and they cannot ruin, you know, my happiness. They can't because I laugh at this world, at the people who just go crazy over nothing for no reason whatsoever count your blessings count your blessings i mean you've you've never had a hernia you've you've never had i don't know tumors right you've never went blind you've never went deaf you've never lost i don't know whatever you've never suffered from I don't know, kidney, snows, kidney stones, you never had organ failure, <clears throat> you've never had uh, pneumonia for three months, so bad that you were coughing, gelatinous pus, okay, I've been there, and still, that was nothing, okay, I count my blessings every day, because when I was younger, I was, the, I was just this bitter sourpuss that did not know that he was sitting on a gold mine. You're all sitting on a gold mine and you're taking it for granted, right? Everything is taken for granted. All of the little things and even the, the bigger things, right? <clears throat> Count your blessings, folks. Stop being so sad all the time. I know about mental illness. I know, I know about what it's like to want to kill yourself, to end the pain, okay? It's not worth it, bro. Count your blessings. You know. <clears throat> and I watch a lot of videos about all of these people who, you know, make these videos about oh life. Yeah, yeah, what a what a what a what a gift. What a what a blessing. It is a gift, right? Because you don't not you do not see the sunny side of things. Right? They only see the bad stuff. Always the bad stuff. Because they had bad experiences. Right? I've had bad experiences, bro. Some of them made me want to end it, to check out. But I, uh, later on, you know, I realized that I was truly blessed. Because now I sit and I enjoy myself and I just laugh at the world as it collapses. Because so many people, even though they are sitting on a treasure... A treasure trove of happiness and merriment and joy and they're just so miserable and they will mis and they will be miserable for the rest of their lives no matter how much money they make no matter how many luxurious things they buy no matter how many people they fuck they will never be happy they will never be happy because they do not know how to count their blessings they do not know how blessed they are so maybe you should Re-examine your life, and maybe you will see that you're not so forsaken and, uh, I don't know, so terrible as you assume. I've been there, folks. Okay, I've been there. Calm down. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Okay. Okay, anyway. If you want to support your boy, I got a few books on Amazon. The link will be down below. Thanks for watching and see ya.